I'm Joshua Overholt, and I'm the Senior Tactical Trainer here at the Viking Corporation. The operation of a single interlock pre-action fire sprinkler system. Now this single interlock pre-action system is electric release, which means that it requires the operation of detection, which will then operate the release control panel, and then allow water to enter the system piping. Uh, this particular system has uh, air pressure in the piping itself, but that air pressure is only for supervisory purposes. Now with other systems, uh, the air pressure may serve an operational function as well as a supervisory function, uh, but in this case it's just supervisory. So let me show you what I mean. If I release the air pressure uh, from the system itself, this particular pre-action system will not allow water to enter the system piping. Uh, so that would mean that if we had some sort of mechanical damage uh, occur out in the field in the protected area where a sprinkler uh, might have been struck and broke, uh, we would get a loss of air pressure, but we would not get water to enter the system piping. So here's what we can do. In the back here, we have our trip test connection. So I'll open the trip test connection. I'll relieve the air pressure from the system itself, and then you'll be able to see that no water pressure will enter into the system riser. So we have a loss of air pressure here. Our air pressure gauge is reading zero. We can hear the air pressure trying to restore and fill the system itself. Uh, but in this case, we're letting the air out faster than it can be reestablished. We also have a supervisory signal here. So we'll silence that supervisory signal. Uh, and then we're going to restore the air pressure. So we're going to close our trip test connection. We're going to allow our air pressure to reestablish. And after our air pressure reestablishes, we'll hit the reset and we'll clear that out of our panel. What we'll do after that is we'll show you the operation uh, under fire conditions. Now in a fire condition, we would get our detection first. In this case, it's a smoke detector, so we would get that detection first. And then as enough heat would build up in the protected area, we would have a sprinkler fuse. And when the sprinkler then fuses, uh, the water would come out of the system piping. So the detection puts the water in the piping. The water cannot come out of the piping until the sprinkler fuses, and then the water is released from the sprinkler itself. So at this point, we're going to reset the VFR 400. and we have our air pressure reestablished here in the single interlock pre-action system. So we'll go ahead and trip our detector here. Now you'll see our detector is tripped, our alarm is in the VFR 400 panel, and our system has now operated. We have water in the piping. Now in order for that water to come out of the piping, again the sprinkler would have to fuse, so we can simulate that using our trip test connector. With water now exiting the trip test connection, we'll shut down the system itself. So we have a supervisory signal uh, because our valve has been closed. We have uh, air pressure here. We'll open our flow test connection. Then we'll open our system main drain. And again, we still hear that air pressure. It's, it's currently trying to restore in the riser itself. So we can stop that for a second to make things a, a little quieter for us. With the system control valve already in the closed position and our drains open, we're ready to restore the system for service. So our valve is closed here. Uh, we have a loss of prime water pressure. We have a loss of air pressure. So we're going to begin with restoring the air pressure first. Now the air pressure doesn't really make a difference in this particular scenario because it's single interlock and the air pressure is only for supervisory purposes. But we'll get the air pressure back on and we'll stick with air pressure first as our theme for reset. So let's close our system main drain. We'll close the trip test connection and we'll open our air supply valve. We'll see that our air supply will begin to build. Now as far as prime water pressure, prime water pressure is the second step here. Now the prime water pressure is needed to close the valve uh, to keep the valve from tripping. So the prime water pressure right now is actually flowing through the trim piping, uh, going through the normally closed solenoid, but the normally closed solenoid is still energized. And it's still energized or in the open state because our VFR 400 release control panel is still in alarm condition. You can see we still have our detection in alarm. So if we hit the reset button on the VFR 400, the VFR 400 
will clear out the detection alarm and it will close the solenoid. Now it'll de-energize it and close it because the normally closed solenoid without uh, any energy or without any power is normally closed. So that's its normal state without, uh, without any power. So we're going to go ahead and reset the VFR 400. Our alarm clears and our prime water pressure uh, reestablishes as soon as the normally closed solenoid returns to that state. Now our VFR 400 is indicating a supervisory signal which is exactly what it's supposed to do because we still have the system control valve in the closed position. So the last step in the process is to get the water supply back onto the riser itself. So you can see we have our air pressure, we have our prime water pressure, and we're looking to get that city water pressure back on or the water supply back onto the riser. So what we're going to do is we're going to partially close our flow test connection. We're going to take our system control valve and give it a few turns here. We've got water flowing at this point. So we're going to take that flow test connection and we're going to close it slowly here. And uh, once that is closed, our water pressure, water supply pressure has now been restored and we'll open our system control valve uh, for the rest of the way. At this point, we'll hit the reset button and our panel will be cleared out. We have a green uh, indicator in our panel, so everything is clear and our system has been restored.